using V equals F lambda to calculate wavelength by kscience.com. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. What we have here are two waves. And both of them are traveling with a wave speed of three times 10 to the power of eight meters per second. So for the top wave, this wave has a frequency of three times 10 to the power of seven Hertz. So what I want you to do is calculate the wavelength of the wave. And for the second wave, this wave has a frequency of 1.5 times 10 to the power of seven Hertz. I want you to calculate the wavelength of this wave. So the question wants you to work out the wavelength. So you need to underline wavelength. So what information do we have? We've got the frequency of three times 10 to the power of seven Hertz and the wave speed of three times 10 to the power of eight meters per second. So we've got wavelength, frequency, and wave speed. So recall the equation, V equals F times lambda, and then rearrange for the wavelength lambda. So wavelength equals V over F. So now we've rearranged for wavelength, you now substitute in the numbers, wavelength equals three times 10 to the power of eight meters per second, which is V, the wave speed, divided by the frequency F, three times 10 to the power of seven hertz. That gives you an answer of a wavelength of 10 meters. For question two, you've been asked to calculate the wavelength of the wave. So you recall V equals F lambda because you've got frequency, wave speed, and wavelength. So you recall V equals F lambda. So now you rearrange for wavelength lambda. So that's going to be wavelength equals V over F. So you've now rearranged it. You now substitute in the numbers. Wavelength equals three times 10 to the power of eight meters per second divided by frequency 1.5 times 10 to the power of seven Hertz. That will give you a wavelength of 20 meters. So if the top wave you worked out the wavelength, which was 10 meters. So one wavelength is 10 meters. And as you can see here on the second wave, you worked out that one wavelength is 20 meters. So for waves traveling, at the same speed, if the frequency is halved, so we halve the frequency here, 1.5 times 10 to the power of seven hertz is half of three times 10 to the power of seven hertz. If you half the frequency, you're going to double the wavelength. That's only if the waves are traveling at the same speed. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.